Mark, is it bad? Is it a bad thing that people tend to hang out with people who are who are like them? No, I, I don't think um, that's a problem at all. I think that people naturally, uh, you know, hang around people who they grew up with, who share interests with them, who share values with them, who share experiences with them. So I don't, I don't fault black people or white people who tend to have friends who are of the same sort as them. The question becomes, what happens when you have access to other people and you still make different choices. You know, for example, uh, I have friends who are white, uh, partially because of the places I've attended. Uh, I, I, I work in cable news. <laughs> Whole lot of white people there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I, 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 I ain't got much choice. You oh, know my what gosh. I, mean? I, I, I would like to stay here, so <laughs> move on. I, you know, I, I, went, I went to an Ivy League graduate school. Not a lot of black people there. So it, through my interactions, I, I've been forced to, uh, in a good way, forced to engage different groups of people, different religions, different races, different, I, I, you know, sets of politics, and it's been an extraordinary experience. And then I've sort of held on to those things. I find sometimes my white counterparts haven't held on to those friendships or those relationships in the same way. Part of it is a demographic thing. There's simply more white people than black people in that way, in those spaces, and so they can, they can afford to do that, uh, demographically speaking. But some of it is also cultural. You know, people want to hold on to what they have. And it's also self-isolation, too. I find that a lot of people, like, they just want to be around. Uh, they j Honestly, they just don't know any better, and nor do they care, right?